Controls of Supercritical Boilers Presentation by A.J. Shukla Senior. Faculty PMI Electricity generation is very complex in nature, where load demand changes on minute to minute basis. It is not manufacturing industry where you have got enough time match your demand and supply. In no industry other than power where real-time marching of supply and demands is done on second-to-second -second basis. If you fail to response you are gone, and frequency may collapse or increase leading to grid failure. To match the demand you need continuous control of your turbine and boiler. Turbine is customer and boiler supplier but both should work in tandem to create win-win situation. Boiler Turbine Control Let us see how any power plant controls the load or generate the MW. There are two components boiler and turbine. Turbine has its own controls, since it consists of rotating mass of around 200 T rotor. Many precaution is taken so that no point of time it should not go in unsafe zone. Now see the boiler ultimate aim of boiler is to generate steam at required pressure and temp for turbine. Everything is so dynamic in boiler that very complex boiler control is required. In the boiler we are burning the fuel, we need air and water so all the controls are required. Since we are burning fossil fuel so boiler manufacturer ensure that his boiler remains safe in all operating conditions follows certain standards while boiler following mode. Now we have to meet the load demand so we can follow certain strategy there are different mode in which whenever gen load is increased. TCV will be open first, then PR will be dropped, so FW and fuel has to increase to meet MW demand, load following capacity will be fast in this case. Turbine following mode In this whenever load is increased load demand will given first to increase fuel and FW, then based on pressure change load will be changed, so load following will be slow. Coordinate mode control Whenever load is increased the command is given to increase fuel flow and FW flow both as well as load is increased same time to meet demand, load following will be fast and throttle PR will not drop. In SC we follow this mode for fast load pickup, coordinate mode control. This is some CI unit generally run on this mode, many logic are in bit based on unit capability and aux availability, frequency correction are taken as feed forward signal. What will happen if something will happen to any aux it gets stripped, drum and dot control comparison. 1. I hope control for drum type is known to you, how we control feed water in drum type, drum axis buffer, it can work as O3 element and O1 element. It is one of most important loop of C and I, operation always demands this loop to be on auto, so feed water loop which control the drum level in drum type boiler and not feed water controls the feed water flow. 2. Firing Is there any difference? No. 3. Pressure Generally constant pressure but in odd it is sliding pressure control only. 4. Drum and dot control comparison. Why superheater temp control required? How it is done in drum type there are O2 methods burner tilt another is superheater spray. In OT superheater spray is used for short duration and feed water and firing ratio is used for a long term temp control. RH temp control is same for both. Startup system drum time circulation natural or forced and outlet goes to condenser. At low load feed water flow is less so circulation. Op control overview. Here release and heat demand has to be balanced. Cycle of supercritical power plant. This is cycle of SC, extra is startup system. This is graphics based on bit and final graphic fuel form 10 mil so 10 coal elevation, what mil you are giving all ball mil or tube, 2 LP, 2 concept and 4 LP 1 to 4, 6 to 8 HPH where is 5th, B, supercritical power plant. This is Korean plant with 4 C putter, op control overview. We use startup syst, scheme, FW. Firing rate either these feed forward we can use feed water side or full side. Ot startup control mode. 30% of TMC are kept, in some FW equals X1 plus X1 X2. Supercritical units controls mode. Flushing mode. Flushing mode.
Startup system with recirculation. Recirculation pump in main bypass line. SH. Separator. Flash. Tank. WW. C. Eco. HWL. To condenser. C. Let's see what is there in startup system. During startup water comes up to separator and it level is maintained. How that is maintained we will see. Data. HPH. C. BFP. Startup system. Once SP level is maintained by WR and ZR valve, UG BCP, the separator water level remains stable for 2 2 minutes. Startup. If the water system of the boiler is empty, economizer, furnace walls, separators, then the system is filled with approximately 10% TMCR feed water flow. When the level in the separator reaches set point, the WR valve will begin to open. When the WR valve reaches greater than 30% open for approximately 1 minute, then increase feed water flow set point to 30% TMCR. As the flow increases, WR valve will reach full open and ZR valve will begin to open. The water system is considered full when the separator water level remains stable for 2 2 minutes and the WR valve is fully opened and ZR valve is greater than 15% open for 2 2 minutes. Separator storage tank level control Separator level is maintained by the combined action of a separator storage tank level feed water demand and the positioning of WR and ZR drain valves. Feed water demand is developed in response to separator storage tank level error and total fuel flow so as to prevent tank level from dropping too low. The WR and ZR valves are controlled in a split range manner to maintain the liquid level once the level reaches a high limit. The WR valve will respond first and then the ZR when the WR exceeds its linear operating range. Tank geometry is such that fluctuations in tank level are very dynamic, for this reason, only proportional control action established through the WR slash ZR function curves is used to position these valves in response to level error. SP level maintained, FW demand is trimmed by SP level, UG valve control control objective. Maintain minimum economizer inlet flow. Control action. The boiler circulating pump is started following the start of a turbine driven feed water pump and the final cleanup cycle. This pump circulates feed water from the evaporator outlet back to the economizer inlet. Located at the outlet of this pump is the UG valve which controls economizer inlet flow during the startup phase of operation. Demand for this recirculation control valve is established based on measured economizer inlet flow compared to a minimum boiler flow set point. Separator water circuit of supercritical. BCP required at load less than 30 EA that is wet mode. This is gene RCKT name of valve is different. Feed water control loop. Control objective. Develop total unit feed water demand as required to support unit load. Adjust feed water demand to maintain desired separator outlet temperature. Adjust separator outlet temperature set point as required to maintain acceptable plat and superheat spray control range. Incorporate separator storage tank level, wet mode, feed water demand. Maintain minimum required economizer inlet flow. Most important control loops 1 No storage luxury, YFW as per demands 1. These are all feed water control. This shows Cop Marison how fed water is controlled in drum type and once through, so in once through FW is not feed water firing rate ratio control. Feed water firing rate ratio control. Feed forward with model. Process. Set point. Feed. Forward. FX. Model S P plus slash C slash plus D D D T K C plus slash P 
plus slash x feed forward fx fx d d s x k k process ff process set point ffp plus slash c slash plus p plus slash c slash plus d d d dt d dt k k c plus slash p plus slash c plus slash p plus slash s x model predictive control plus mw underscore fuel with model without model turbine set point water wall temperature c 60 120 180 240 300 t second firing rate master fuel rate master feed forward firing rate control feed forward firing rate control any questions please you wind 4 by 1000 mw preparation of light off multi combusting nozzles with separated over fire air damper BCP, boiler circulating pump, will be stopped automatically. Startup can Water flows through the economizer and evaporator, and discharges the boiler through the WR valve to the flash tank and via connecting pipe to the condenser. Start BCP and open the UG valve to establish minimum water wall flow. At 30% TMCR. As the pressure is raised. First the WR and then the ZR valves will open when separator water level increases due to boiler water swell. As pressure further increases, the WR and ZR valves will start to close as the water level decreases. The steam temperature at the separator inlet will reach a stable superheated condition at up 30% TMCR, causing the level in the separator to decrease and eventually disappear. The boiler is now in once through mode, dry mode. The BCP, boiler circulating pump, will be stopped automatically. It is extremely important that minimum water wall flow be maintained at all times when firing the boiler to prevent tube damage due to overheating. Feed water control lucent. Demand for feed water is established predominantly by the boiler master demand. This signal Process though a boiler transfer function provides the feed forward component of the total feed water demand. The boiler transfer function is a tunable dynamic element providing a means to dynamically match the feed water feed forward demand to actual evaporator heat transfer. Optimization of the feed forward in this manner minimizes temperature fluctuations that may otherwise result from varying dynamic response between the firing and feed water control systems and they relate to evaporator heat transfer, thereby lessening the dependence on feedback correction. Feed water control lucent. The first controller racks on a load-dependent average platen spray differential temperature. Its output represents the required adjustment to evaporator heat transfer slash steam generation to maintain both the steam conditions and flue gas temperatures entering the platen superheat section so as to ensure adequate platen spray control range. A second controller racks on a load-dependent separator outlet temperature set point corrected by the platen spray differential temperature controller's output. This controller racks to adjust feed water in response to firing system disturbances and the relatively fast effect they have on separator outlet steam temperatures. 
The overall combined feedwater feedback control action is such that feedwater demand is responsive to changes in the overall unit heat transfer profile. Feedwater control loopkind. The combined feed forward slash feedback demand signal is subject to a minimum economize air inlet flow set point, wet mode, activated if the boiler circulation pump is not in service and the unit is being fired. This ensures the minimum economizer inlet cooling flow is maintained by the feed water supply system in the event the startup system is not available. The feed forward slash feedback demand signal is subject to a second wet mode feed water demand developed to support separator storage tank level control. The resulting demand provides the set point to a feed water master controller. The fuel slash feed water ratio protection logic provides overriding control of individual feeder speed demands in the event of an excessively high fuel to feed water ratio.